Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss digestions, carminatives and appetite suppressants. Generally, these are all are marketed products which are already available in market which may facilitate or aids digestive functions. It may have a many a kinds of enzymes and the products with proteins and other natural supplements here you can see various marketed formulations like uh, digestive enzymes that is Zymex next is Digiplex next is super lactase enzyme and the products from the sake these are all products generally aids or we can say like uh, improves the digestion here in case digestions and carminatives are regularly used in food or in forms of food supplements here it may act centrally as well as peripherally in case of centrally it could be orexigenic or anoxygenic orexigenic are npy next is agouti related peptides and the dopamine whereas anorexigenic could be cocaine amphetamine histamine or noradrenaline Peripherally, peripherally could be carlin and dynorphine whereas in cases of anorexigenic peripherally acting that is leptin and insulin regulation here in case of regulation in terms of enteric nervous system that is designed for digestive system or the processes which are going in digestive system will be governed by the neuroendocrine regulation or the specific enteric nervous system here there are many factors behind the consumption of food or our food habits there will be a major two factor that is genetic factors and the environmental factor it may involve in cases of genetic factor that is hormones neurotransmitters enzymes and receptor whereas environmental could be psychological aspects which is cultural and socio-economic status of the person here regulation depends on the intake of food an intake of food may have a direct relation with the energy in many a conditions energy intake will be high whereas energy expenditure could be low which could lead to the obesity so overall increased total caloric content will be increased and composition of the diet could lead to the obesity in other cases where total caloric content may be reduced or less in that case is exactly why our second condition can be seen and we used to call it as a malnutrition digestions or appetite stimulants these are the substances intended to promote digestion of food a number of proteolytic amyolytics and lipolytic enzymes are marketed in combination formulations and are vigorously promoted for the dyspeptic symptoms and as appetite stimulants or health tonics they are occasionally beneficial only when elaboration of enzymes in gastrointestinal tract is deficient we can consider it as a part of nutraceuticals their routine use in tonics and appetite improving mixtures is irrational so it is advised that if it is necessary or prescribed then only it should be consumed first that is pepsin pepsin is an important part in digestion of food material 
and it may be used along with the HCL in gastric achalia that is due to the atrophic gastritis, gastric carcinoma, pernicious anemia where we can see that patient may be suffering from ulcer formation or ulceration. Second that is papain. It is a proteolytic enzyme that is obtained from the raw papaya. Its efficacy after oral ingestion is doubtful but it is believed that it is protein digestion. So it is prescribed to digest the food material. Third one that is pancreatin. Pancreatin is a mixture of pancreatic enzymes obtained from the hog and pig pancreas. Generally it contains amylase, trypsin and lipase and it is indicated in cases of chronic pancreatitis. See pancreatitis is a condition where pancreas may be damaged due to injury or it may happen that after any abdominal surgery pancreas itself is not able to release amylase, trypsin or lipase. In those cases it is advised or any other exocrine pancreatic deficiency stats. Fat and nitrogen content of stools may be reduced and diarrhea may be prevented. It has to be used as enteric protect tablets or capsules that is to protect the enzymes from being themselves digested or released in the stomach by pepsin. So always it will be given in form of enteric coated tablets and those coating may be multiple. Nausea, diarrhea and hyperuricemia are the occasional side effects that can be observed with pancreatin. Fourth that is diastase and the tachydiastase. They are basically digestions. These are amulytic enzymes obtained from the fungus that is aspergillus aureusae. They have been used in pancreatic insufficiency but efficacy is again equivocal. Fifth that is methyl polysiloxan that is dimethyl polysiloxan, simethicone and dimethicone. It is a silicone polymer basically silicon polymer with viscous amphiphilic liquid which reduces the surface tension and collapses froth and back that is anti-forming agent. It is not absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract but it, it you know increases the chances that the whatever the food material which is present in small intestine may get easily absorbed and it is pharmacologically inert and it will not be absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. It is added to antacids, digestion and anti-reflux preparations. It is br briskly promoted as a remedy for gas, a very common gastric complaint. It is also claimed to coat and protect ulcer surfaces just like uh, sucralfate to aid dispersion of antacids in uh, gastric contents and to further prevent the GERD that is gastroesophageal reflux disorder. However, clinical efficacy is equivocal and those could be 40 to 120 milligram 3 to 4 times a day. Next one, carminatives. Generally, we used to have a carminative regularly and they are widely available throughout the kitchens. Example could be peppermint, ginger, chamomile, cardamom, fennel and the anise. It promotes the expulsion of gases from the gastrointestinal tract and give a feeling of warmth and comfort in the epigastrium. In many cases where person may feel heaviness after meal, in those cases carminatives will be applied.
here even sodium bicarbonate that is plain water soda with 0.5 to 1.5 gram can be used even peppermint oil in forms of 0 0.6 to 0 0.1 ml cardamom tincture with 1 to 2 ml oil of dill or dill oil that is 0 0.06 to 0 0.2 ml can be consumed and ginger tincture can be used in 0 0.6 to 1 ml generally sodium bicarbonates reacts with the acid basic principles of antiacids right so here it reacts with the acid and forms a carbon dioxide and that released carbon dioxide gas may distends the stomach relaxes and it relaxes lower esophageal sphincter and it will be followed by the eruption that is reflex that expels gas noisily from the stomach through the mouth and we used to call it as like the uh, car other contents that is volatile oils which give irritant action with motility and relaxation of lower esophageal sphincter which ends with warmth or warmth feeling and the compartments so carminative provides a better relief after food uses it can be used in dyspepsia where pepsin may or pepsin release may not be regulated that is dyspepsia and it may or may not with ulcer formation next is in cases of discomfort in upper abdomen in cases of gas formation or patient suffering from gas uh, feeling of fullness right that is what is having us after food and the burning sensation might be because of acidity and these are all conditions those carminatives and digestions can be applied next category that is appetite suppressants or a specific condition that is anorexia where patient may feel appetite suppressants and because of this person may not have a regular food intake it may be uh, because of two basic reason one is socio economic status and second that is mental conditions in many conditions person may feel that he is or she is obese so he or she used to refuses the food here in cases of appetite suppression generally fat stores are determined by the balance of energy absorbed as well as expended in many cases where energy intake is high and energy expenditure due to adipose tissue classification first that is centrally acting adrenergic agents that can be used to suppress that is phenylethylamine phenylamine dihydropyrin mesidol pandimetrazine and phenylpropranolamide see these are the agents which can be used in the treatment with anti obesity and they are not the first choice but they can be given in forms of combination or with regimens next that is serotonergic agents like dexfenpuramine fenpuramine and the flozetin next there is adrenergic serotonergic agents like sibutramine so this is the classification for anti suppressive agents while coming to the side effects of it it produces dizziness insomnia nervousness digestive problems like nausea constipation diarrhea and stomach pain here they are majorly used in to treatment of obesity here you can see some marketed products like serofit that is for weight management next is night time fat burner that is again for obesity and the extra slim so this is all about digestions carminatives and the appetite suppressants thank you